In this video, we're going to talk about menus and site navigation. Without good navigation, people won't be able to find all of the excellent content on your website. I can't stress enough how important quality site navigation is. Don't just throw something together, think about it, plan it out, and make a structure. When building it, you don't even have to put the content into your pages. Just get the pages there so that you have a mental site map and you know where things are going to go. Let's take a look at how to make menus in WordPress. Under Appearance, Menus, this is where we make them. We have none right now, so let's make one. I will call it Primary Nav. You can call it anything you want. They won't show up on the front of the website. And now we have a primary menu with nothing in it. Over here are site pages, posts, custom links, and categories. If we open up screen options, you'll see that we can also put in submissions, tags, and format. There are some other things here too, and we'll take a look at those in a minute. So now let's do pages. Let's put the news in there. Now, if we open this up, we can see the title, and we can see where it's linking, and we can move or cancel. Under Screen Options, we can add to that a link target, so we could open it in a new tab if we wanted, a title attribute, CSS classes, so that we could target this specifically if we wanted to, a link relationship, so that we can connect it to another place, and optionally a description. The description is only displayed in the menu if the theme supports it. Some do, some don't. You'll have to test your theme. I also want to put in an attractions link, so that in one menu I can link to the museum, the zoo, and the aquarium, etc. But I don't have that page, so I'm going to click Save Menu, go to Pages, Add New, Attractions, and simply click Publish. And now, at some other time, I can come back and fill out the content for this page, or someone else could, anyone could. But I need it right now for my menus. So now I'm going to click Aquarium, Zoo, Museum, and Attractions, and click Add to Menu. Now they're all right there next to each other in a row. I'm going to click Save Menu, and now this menu isn't showing anywhere on the site yet. I can show you that. Simply reload, and there's nothing. Themes have what's called menu positions. So we can put this menu either in the footer or the main menu. I'm going to click Main Menu. And now there it is. The problem is we don't want Zoo, Museum, and Aquarium right there at the top with these others. So all we have to do is drag them slightly to the right. And it turns them into sub items. And if we want to do this alphabetically, I can drag Aquarium to the top. And now click Save Menu. Now, if I reload, it makes drop down menus. Now, that's also related to the theme. Not all themes utilize drop down menus. And so, in some cases, you might make a drop down menu here and it simply won't show. That's entirely up to the theme. Our theme happens to do it very nicely. So now let's also add civics, map, and feedback. And I like having civics here. And I like having feedback last on my sites, just a personal preference. And there we are. Now there's a page under Civics, Home Safety. If we add that, 
then we can drag it right up here, put it here, and save menu. And there it is. Now, you don't have to have every page that you own in your navigation. There are a variety of options. For example, you may recall that there is a custom menu widget. So, we could create a new menu and call it Attractions. Then we could take the museum, the zoo, and the aquarium and add them and save, and choose not to put it anywhere at all. Then if we go to widgets, right, we can do custom menu. Call it attractions, and hit save. And there we have our attractions menu. Now, one more thing about widgets, even though this isn't the widgets video. There are plugins you can get that allow you to say right here what page you want the widget to be on. So you can fill up your sidebar, but the widgets will only show on certain pages. So we could make the attractions menu show only on the attractions page. And we could make these blog widgets only show on the news page. We have one more option for menus. Let's choose our primary nav again. We can also put it in the footer menu. So now that it's in header and the footer, if we reload, you'll see down here at the very bottom, there's our navigation. So if you end up with a very long page, you may not want people to have to go all the way back up to the top to find your navigation. They can find it also down here. But you'll note that the drop downs do not work in this one. That's why it might be useful to have it so that when I click attractions, the sub nav is right there. I'd like to reiterate how important site navigation is. Not only do your users use it, but Google reads it. It's how Google crawls your website, it's how it knows what's important, it's how it knows the structure of your website. So be sure to think carefully about how you build it, what's in it, and how easy it is for people to use.